to where we finally get to talk to you guys. What was that? What was that locker room like? And what did you guys kind of discuss about about the show? And um, just talked about we didn't we didn't really play hard. Like coming out in the second half, we made a bunch of mistakes. Didn't really play hard and fight like we usually do. You know, I think we we've come out in games during the season, and no matter what the outcome was, we fought. And I think tonight we didn't. Um, it kind of started with me. I gave up offensive rebound. And then fouled the guy, and I can't, it kind of trickled down from there. So I could definitely take a uh, some you know blame on that because I didn't come out how I was supposed to as a leader and be able to you know get the guys going. So I gotta do better. Part. I gotta do a better job of that, making sure the guys are ready to come out. And it starts with me. So you know those, those two plays are plays that can change the change the game, and they did. So I'm gonna make sure next game coming out, I'm not going not gonna do that again. Is it hard on you guys to? being so many tight games and I guess kind of have to consistently bring it like all the way through a game like you have these last, I don't know, five or six now. I mean, yeah, it's tough, but it's what we got to do. Like the game of basketball is, you know, a game of ups and downs. Like one team could come out hot and it could, it could be their time shooting. One game could be cold. Like, you know, it's a game of up and down. So, you know, a lot of these games have been tight for us, but we have to, we have to continue to do little things um, in order to win these games. And, and once you do those little things, when you when you go through the season, it gets easier and easier for you because those little things become habits. So we have to build those habits and, you know, we're, we're getting there. But, you know, today really didn't show that for us. Isaiah, was it just a, a snowball effect once things started going bad at the, end, at the start of the second half? They just didn't seem to get ever going in your favor? Yeah, I mean, Notre Dame, you know, they weren't hitting shots in the first half and their team was just threes. You know, they, they, they got confidence. They hit a couple of threes and, and they didn't really feel as much pressure on the defense and usually like we do as, you know, as, as it is. So, um, you know, they, they were hitting threes and got confident and you know, they, they were playing the game. So we got we to gotta continue to just get better and, and be a better team um, and, and just collectively stay together and stay hungry every day. You know, today, we did, I don't think we were hungry today for this win. But we got to come out in the game and be hungry for it. The schedule is not set in stone, but you guys are supposed to have this weekend off. Do you feel like that's that's a break that you guys need to have at this point? Um, I mean, we just break or not. If we play a game, if we don't, you know, um, we just got to continue to work. Like every single day that we have off or the days that we're in the gym, like we have to grind. Like this doesn't mean there was time to take breaks. Like, we're in mid-season and we have a chance to turn this around. Like we have a lot of chances to turn this around. So during this break, I mean, it's going to be nice for us to get a little break, but we're going to be grinding in the gym every day. Thanks, A. Of course. All right, guys, we got Odie here. Odie, I guess just kind of take us through the start of that second half and maybe why it it kind of took off so quickly getting out of y'all's reach. Um, so I think we, we made a couple of mistakes early. And then from there, I guess no one really was locked in mentally. No one was really dialed in. Uh, we gave Notre Dame confidence. We had like no pressure on the ball. Gave them the confidence to just hit shots. And then, you know, when that starts happening, it's really hard to, to come back from, from something like that. We just got to do it better being locked in from the, from the jump the second half, everybody. Odie, what was coach's message to y'all after the game? Uh, he said we quit, and he, he's right. Uh, it looks, from, from the look of it, like pretty sure everyone saw it, like it looked as if we quit. Like we just, we stopped playing. Like no one wanted to, like no one wanted to really, really be there, play. Uh, we, got, we just got to do a better job. Like I said, we got to do a better job of coming out, uh, being locked in, being able to focus on the goal as a team, and that, that goal being to win. Was the message delivered more – was Coach more disappointed than he was angry, or was it more angry than disappointed? Like – It was just a mixture of both. Like, I mean, if I were in his shoes, I, I'd feel the same way. You know, I'd be – you know, we didn't start that second half at all like how we should have. You know, we're a better team than that. Everybody knows. Everybody knows what we're capable of, and we just got to come out better than that. We got to come in. We got to come out locked in, dialed in, and you know, ready to execute what we what we've been taught. 
What you, what's your impression of what practice is liable to look like the next couple of days? I mean, we go through the same thing. We just we just gotta we gotta maintain practice. Probably just gonna be the same thing. We just gotta be able to lock in and dial in the stuff regarding regarding defense. I'd say after after something like this, because you know I feel as if defensively in the second half from the start and to the end they didn't feel us at all. So that that'd be that'd be what I do. Thanks, Odie. Yeah. All right, guys, we got coach. I'll start with a quick opening statement. Probably won't be quick. Um, you know, I thought that uh, Notre Dame really stuck to their plan for the whole game. Um, they played like a, a good team does. They took what the defense gave them. Um, our jet, we tried to get Lazuski. I'm sorry, I'm probably not pronouncing his name correctly. We tried to limit his touches. And we did. He only had six shots, but he found other ways to win the game by getting 10 rebounds and, and distributing the ball. So I, I think that's what a really good team does. And they they find the ways to win without, you know, without trying to do things they can't do. Um, you know, we can discuss the game, we will, but I think this the the root of the evil, the root of the problem with our team is that we just have a team that's infected with the disease of me. We have way too many players on this team that are more concerned about scoring. And when they don't score, they bring nothing else to the table. And that's a, that's a problem. And when I walk in the locker room and losing doesn't really hurt that bad, that's why I'm here. I'm here to fix that problem and fix it, I will. Um, we don't, we got, we don't have people bought into defending to get going. It's all about if I'm making a shot. If I'm making a shot, things are pretty good. If I'm not, then then we have then the effort really really drops. Now that's on me, um, and I have to find a way to make it better. Um, you know, when you run motion, uh, it's hard. You have to cut, and you have to cut unselfishly to get people open. And when you don't do that, then the ball, the ball move, the ball gets stagnant and it doesn't move. And finally, at the end of the game, last four or five minutes, we had a team in there that moved the ball and we got really good shots. But when you have, when you don't cut for your teammates and you don't play hard, then it's impossible to, to run any kind of offense, in my opinion. You know, um, the, 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 the most disappointing thing for me is, the, is that we don't play to our identity. And it's not like something I had just made up um, since I got it, you know, like last week. Hard, smart together, didn't do that. Um, share the ball, for the most part, didn't do that. Gritty, grimy, tough, are you kidding me? Uh, I can't tell you how many times we don't get loose balls when they're there for us to get. And But I see it every day in practice. And then execution. The very first play we ran to start the game, we didn't run right. I don't, I, I, I don't know how that happens. And so it's on me. Uh, Mike Bray did a great job of coaching his team and I did not. And, uh, you know, I, it's my job, you know, to, to find a way to fix it before we play um, our next game. You know, a lot of 50, 50 balls in the first half could have went our way. I didn't think they let us stick around. I didn't think we were playing great in the first half, but it was a three point game and a half. But we, I mean, we missed layup after layup, not focused on stops, offensive rebounds, inability to guard the ball. And then finally in the second half, they started to make shots and, and uh, made us pay. And so um, I'll open it up to questions. Steve, with, with kind of those first points you made, um, were you afraid that this was something that was gonna happen eventually? Um, like, I don't know if that was a long-term worry or if maybe you noticed in practice the last couple of days, like it might. Yeah. No, I don't know. No, I don't think, Connor, I don't think it's something I saw the last two days. I've just seen it all year long. You know, we've just been able to mask it by continuing to compete and play hard, you know, but the, the selfishness of the, um, your play being determined, how you play being determined by how you score, it's always been there. Um, it just reared its ugly head tonight 
you know, we had a couple games there where um, we could have went the other way and we didn't. Uh, we fought back. I don't remember the games off the top of my head, but tonight it didn't happen. We laid down. And I can't, I can't believe that's coming out of my mouth. That's just not who I am. And, um, but I don't know, you know, it's, it's hard as a coach to coach the coach a team where you don't, you don't have consistent effort or consistent performance. You don't really know where you're going to get what you're getting each night. It's, it's an unsettling feeling. And, and I, you know, it, it reared its head tonight. We've been able to kind of patchwork it every game, you know, and get a group out there that was connected and playing hard and, and, and kept it, kept us in the game or won the game tonight. We got exposed. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's something that I've seen it, but it's not been the last couple of days. It's really been pretty much since I got here. Steve, what, what made tonight different then? Like you, you mentioned a couple of times the team able to, well, I think effort. I mean, I think effort, I think no fight. You know, we got that. We're only down three and a half to come out. I go like a 16 0 run. You know, we blow layups. We uh, don't compete on the glass. We run in twice. We had guards run just right into screens. Guys gave up threes. We switched when we weren't supposed to and didn't even just pointed, made three. I think it's just competing and fighting, not X's and O's, not, you know, even attention to detail. I think it's just competing and fighting. And, and um, you know, I remember this a year ago, we lost one game at home. And we had a scuffle on the bench at the end of the game. And they're asking me, you guys, my media, that, well, what happened? I said, well, we got a team that don't like to lose. <laughs> Bottom line, that's what it was. Upset about losing. I don't see that. I don't see that. And that's got to, that's the number one thing that has to be fixed. You can't accept that. And so, um, you know, it's not, it's, I don't think it's because we have bad kids or bad players. It's just got to be more important than that. Do you know anything about a potential game this coming weekend? And if there isn't a game added, is it going to be a pretty long seven days of practice for your guys? Well, I don't know about the game, Les. Um, you know, that's kind of, I guess we'll find out from the ACC shortly if we'll play Saturday or not. You know, quite frankly, if it's not a home game, I don't see the how we. I guess it's really not in my control. But if we play on the road Saturday and play on the road Wednesday and the next spot Saturday, that's nine of our first thirteen games on the road in the league. Seriously? Um, no, I don't think so, Les. I mean, we're are we kind of past the. Uh, those kind of practices. I mean, are we not to the point where it should be so important to them that I don't have to be that way? I don't want to be that way from start to finish. I want them to coach themselves. I want them to play and practice hard because it's important to them and it means something. To them. So, you know, I'm not going to change. I'm not changing. And I've told them that a thousand times. I'm not changing. You're changing. And I have the hardest head in the room. And so I'm just going to continue to coach them the way I know how to coach them. And, and they got to come along. Steve, is there like a difficulty, I guess, in um, leading a team that's found itself in tight games as many times as it has? Like, I, you know, I don't know if that plays into a situation like tonight where, you know, maybe they just don't have the juice. Yeah. Well, I, I would much rather be in a tight game than getting blown out. Sure. You got a chance, right? You give yourself a chance. That's all you can ask for. And 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 let's be honestly, that's what they've done up until this tonight. They have given – I mean, I'm not counting Georgia Tech. Um, I mean, we were just coming off COVID, man. Uh, we had like two practices and played a really good basketball team, you know. Um, tonight's the first time it's reared its ugly head. It's, it's, it's kind of always been in the shadows – but it's never come out because we've uh, um, absolutely competed. And I was, and I always felt like that was a reflection of, of, of what I demand. Tonight it didn't happen. And there's really not a lot I can do. You know, I call timeouts, I can call new plays, I, but you got to go compete. You know, I'm not even talking about making baskets or, 
you know, whatever. I'm talking about just being compete, just to compete, and the in the joy of being a, a fearless competitor. wasn't there tonight, and um, I'm not going to accept it. And uh, you know, I didn't go in there and rant and rave. I just you know, told him exactly how I felt. Thanks, Coach. All right. Yeah.